Many times in life, people don't get what they want and they need because they don't aim at it. And it's a hard lesson for people to learn because they're cynical to begin with and they presume that there's no possible way of moving forward. But it's not so unreasonable to assume that you're not going to hit what you don't aim at or you're not going to hit what you aim at and don't shoot at. And I've seen time and time again that if people do put forward a vision for what they regard as worthy of pursuit, which is something you have to determine in dialogue with yourself, it's like given the difficult preconditions of existence, is there anything that you could conceive of that you would regard as sufficiently worthwhile so that you would be motivated to pursue it? it it's, a, it's, a, it's a profound philosophical question and it's not an unreasonable one it's it's a good place to start it's like well life is difficult and enough to make you cynical and bitter and perhaps enough to make you cynical and bitter and suicidal and homicidal and even genocidal and it's not surprising in some sense and then the question is well is there something that you can pursue that allows that to be acceptable or perhaps even desirable which is something to do that justifies the suffering and it's hard to say what that would be for each of you it's something that you can discover this is partly why Nietzsche was wrong Nietzsche thought that after God had died that human beings would have to invent their own values but the psychoanalysts I would say Jung foremost among them put forward a very powerful counterclaim which was that well, you can't invent values. They're already built into you. In, in the clinical literature, we know that one of the main strategies that you can use to help people cure themselves is for them to grapple with what they're terrified by. Grapple with what they're terrified so badly that they're avoiding. And to learn to confront it. In, in pieces, in stages, in manageable stages. Not too much, you know, because you can hurt yourself, but not too little, because then it's, it's pointless. And it works, it makes people not less vulnerable, but more courageous and stronger, which is better than being less vulnerable, because good luck with that. That's not happening. But you can be more courageous and you can be stronger. And, and if you take on the burden of confronting the catastrophe of your existence, then that happens and it actually works and that's part of what everyone is called upon to discover in their life and partly what religious stories try to remind people of in some sense to wake them up and say you're more than you think you are if you look at what terrifies you forthrightly enough then you discover the spirit of your ancestors that you could become and that won't be called out of you without that courageous confrontation because nothing is called out of you without it being demanded.